Hi, I'm Alan from Newlands Nursery and this is today's Five Minute Friday. And often in the Five Minute Fridays, we're showing you what to do. You can follow along, potting up something, taking cuttings, some propagation, anything like that. But this one's much more about general advice. And it's particularly because as we get into the winter months, if you're anything like me, you still want to do some gardening or do want to do something plant related. Um, and we have our house plant range, which we sell. And so many people take advantage and get into the house and start doing some gardening, that it's worth giving some helpful tips. So there's two things I'm going to cover. I'm mainly going to cover the position and it's going to be general advice. It's not specific to any species of plant. It's just general advice for the majority of house plants and watering, which is by far the biggest mistake that people make. So let's talk about position. So I've got literally picked at random from the greenhouse, these house plants. So we're looking for a reasonable amount of light, but we don't want house plants to be in direct sunlight. There's gonna be exceptions, and I'm sure you'll be able to name exceptions, but in general, let's talk about general advice for easy to care house plants. We want a light position, but not direct sunlight. So what that means is if you've got a south facing window that gets the early morning light or gets light all through the day glaring into that window, that might not be the best position, but further into that room might be ideal. Again, if you've got a north facing window that's right against a wall of another house or something like that, that's probably not gonna be enough light. So you're looking for a reasonable amount of light, but not direct sunlight. So watering. That's gonna be where the majority of people really fall over and really have problems with houseplants. And so many people say that they kill houseplants and often it is down to watering. And in my experience, we're talking about overwatering, not underwatering, but of course it can be both. So what I want you to do is get into the habit of actually feeling the soil. I've mentioned this before. So what you do is you get your compost and just stick your finger in. It's as simple as that. If you get a puddle of water come up, there's too much water in there. If it feels bone dry, then maybe it needs a, a watering. Um, so you wanna, they wanna be moist generally, but you want the water to drain through. So make sure whatever pot you've got it in has got drainage in it. If you haven't got drainage, I picked up this decorative pot that we happen to have around. This one hasn't got a hole in it. So what we would do is we would water that in something like, so water doesn't go anywhere, everywhere. Water it in the saucer, wait till it's drained through, and then put it in there. It's as easy as that. If you are using a saucer, make sure it doesn't sit wet. So a lot of plants don't want it to be sitting in water and that can cause an issue. If your plants start looking unhealthy, that can be underwatering or overwatering. Often you'll find they will drop leaves, especially towards the, the bottom of the plant, and they just look a, a little bit sick. So it's well worth looking at the amount you're watering and it's not too wet. And when you do water, make sure it's room temperature water. Um, it's probably not that critical, but it really does help the plant. So don't overwater. Put it in a reasonably light spot but not direct sunlight and that's pretty much i would have said you're 99 percent the way into caring for your house plants so if you want any specific questions about specific species or anything like that make sure you comment or let us know get in contact via facebook or something like that we're here to help